So here I have this shot and I need to make um, this logo brighter, or I want it brighter for this particular shot. So uh, I'm just gonna create a new node with a circular window. And here I'm gonna make this window, it's almost the perfect size, but I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, maybe feather it a bit. And then um, I'm just gonna pick this value here and just brighten it. Oops, just brighten it a bit. Maybe add some add some contrast. So that, that's looking pretty nice. You know, the logo pops a little more than before. Maybe I want to make it a little even brighter. Still, I might raise the gain a little bit here, so the effect's a little more obvious. Just, just fine tune that. So that looks pretty good. Um, so the logo is a bit brighter. Um, you can see that me turning on and off right there. Um, but his hand moves in front of it, and it looks kind of funny um, right there. So you can see that that starts to look a bit weird. You can see that it's, it's a bit bright, and the skin tone's a little oversaturated. So what I can do is I can use a hue saturation lightness qualifier to uh, mask out his skin. So I can just select that skin tone right now. So I have his hand selected, but that's not exactly what I wanted because now his hand selected and not the logo. So what I can go is I can go into the key and I can invert this mask so I can have it subtract his hand area. So now what I end up with is, um, is something where his hand is excluded from the mask. So from, from the circular window. That way, when his hand moves into the shot, it's not um, that sh that brightness change didn't affect it. And I think I could in further improve improve upon the key just by um, denoising it a little bit and adding some blur, so it's just a little bit more. Um, the quality of it is a bit better. I can just fine tune this mask here, but that's um, that's pretty good. So. No, that's, that's before and that's after. So I've brightened the logo without affecting his hand going into the shot.